ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ ದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಬಿರುಚ ಪತಿಂಗ್ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ್ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ ಲಂಘೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಶುಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುದಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೋತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರಬಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಮರಿಜೇತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗಪವಧೂಷ ದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಾಂ ಕರೋಷ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತೀನ್ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತೀನ್ ಚ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಹನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜವೀ ಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಷು ಭದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೀತ್ ತ್ವಂ ನಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
तत्साधु मन्ने ही असुर वर्ज दे ही नम सदा समुद्भिगन दिया हम सत्प्रहाद हितत्पातम ग्रहमंद कुपम बनमगत हयद हरिमा श्रेय तत्साधु मन्ने ही असुर वर्ज दे ही नम सदा समुद्भिगन दिया हम सत्प्रहाद हितत्पातम ग्रहमंद कुपम बनमगत हयद हरिमा श्रेय गौरीय गोष्ठी बोधि श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती कृष्ण मीटर भगवान परमश जगत गुरु टोल देन व्हेन आई व्हेन आई फास्ट मेट विथ माय गुरु पाद पद्म व्हेन आई फास्ट व्हेन टू सी द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय गुरु पाद पद्म फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम देन ही वांटेड टू प्रोवाइड अस किक to break up the false room of false ego inside me gauriya goshti pati sisila bhakti siddhanto saraswati goshami dhar bahupad paramahansa so jagat guru said that when i first went to see the lotus feet of my guru pad padma he provided one kick to break the room of false ego inside my room inside my heart and i feel helpless he wanted to he wanted to prove that what all you have what all you have your education you have education and qualification pandita you are from a high family race you are very beautiful looking very nice looking handsome all useless whatever knowledge you have whatever brain you have all useless in the way of hari bhajan no meaning so i was feeling helpless then i could realize really i have nothing which i can use for hari bhajan then i could realize really i have nothing useful so that i can use it for what i can use for my hari bhajan i wanted to get guru kripa by he but he wanted to cheat me for 17 times i repeatedly went i wanted to take shelter onto his lotus feet but he wanted to say i have no time i can ask i can ask gaur nitan after you can come this way 17 times he wanted to he wanted to reject me and and that last when i went he then also he wanted to speak something which is negative so i told you need not give the cha i am going to jump into ganga i started running then baba ji was calling come 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 to me come to me. come come to me. i can give actually many people came to me to take diksha i wanted to give them hari naam this day but they wanted to cheat me that's why i don't believe anybody i cannot believe that they can do actual hari bhajan i cannot believe bonded soul so any time they can reject guru and go away pope was speaking this way actually pope wanted to teach us pope pope is eternal person this kind of siddhant vichar pope was speaking for us to teach us that before taking diksha you try to ask yourself you need bhakti or not but bhakti is a exclusive treasure in the infinite world nothing more valuable than bhakti is a property first of all you must ask before taking diksha that you need bhakti or not if you don't need bhakti why you are going to disturb what you can do 
Prahladma was speaking to Hiranya Gashibu. Actually, Hiranya Gashibu asking, what you think good? What lesson, what lesson you have taken from Gurudev? What do you think good? I like to hear from you what you hear, what you learn. Then Prahladma was speaking, as you are asking me. So I think it is more practical for all bonded soul to realize their unstable condition, position, fearful situation all around because they are, they are put into a well, blind well. Blind well, no? Blind well. Tatsadu manne asura varjatehi nam Shada samud bhigna dhiya Always there in tension. Always there is some tension. Always. Nobody can say they are out of tension. Some or other type of tension always there. Burning heart. So I think they should live this family life. I mean they are staying inside home with all relatives. It can be compared with a blind well. You can get nothing. You can think they are my relative, they are my near and dear one, but actually not that. Pulladma speaking, they are like, in Bhagavatam it is written, Sajana Khadoshu. They are like rover. Rover, you know, stealing. All his interest. Mother, you give me money. I need money. All his money. Otherwise, they can throw my mother. Mother can give money, then okay. Mother cannot give money, then. Like the case, you know, Bhagavad glorification. Dundukari going to beat mother. Beep, money. All ornament, all gold, everything taken away. Atma, Atmodev was feeling disgusted and gone to forest. He wanted to commit suicide. Is life? What is the meaning of this life? What is the actual meaning of this? What I can get? Can you show me what you can get? What you can get? If your family is Vaishnava family, like Sivas Pandit, then it separate. Otherwise, so Prahladma speaking, I think it is more practical to live this family life, homely life, which can be compared with a blind well, and go to forest to take shelter of Hari, to do bhakti. Bhakti is the nectar. Bhakti is the nectar which can save me. Mai bhakti rihi bhutanam amrita tai kalpate. All demigods and those demons, they jointly with cooperation, they wanted to get amrita by churning the kira, kira hosen. But that amrita is useless. How long you can live? That amrita is not actual amrita. On the contrary, by drinking this Amrita, you can increase your false ego. Because never you are not going to feel any disease. Because by drinking Amrita, you cannot feel any disease. You can feel healthy, young, all the time. So which can make you feel that you are king of this world? Our Prabhupada speaking. When we are developing disease, our health, our health is not good. You should think it is a blessing of Bhagavan. Then we can feel humbleness. Anytime I can go up. This is the condition of hell. Baba speaking. This is also key part of Srila of Sri Bhagavan. Bhagavan wanted to make me feel. Bhagavan wanted to make me feel that your body is for two days. False ego cannot stay. So, Prahladma speaking, I think it is more practical to do Hari Bhakti. Hari Bhakti is more practical. To go into forest and do. But forest means not actually forest. 
Forest means not actually forest, because many times our Guru Bhargava, Shastra, any where you go, they are going to they are going to chide me. Why you want to go to forest? Where you can get forest? In forest you can go with your bonded, you are bonded soul, with material mind you can go, material income, intellect, same problem there. Same problem there, you are going to reach forest. But forest, what you can get? Forest, same mind. You are bonded, so all your same material mind, material intellect can put you in trouble. Even in forest, what is the utility? Forest means actually Bhagavan Sri Krishna is speaking to Uddhav. Uddhav. Actually, forest means Satik Bhas. Banam tu sattikam bhasam, rajasam gramo uchyate, tamasam duta sadhanam, man nikatanastu nirgunam. That's when Bhagavan speaking that sattik bhas means to stay with sadhu and do sankirtan all the time. Because if you really meet with one, if you really meet with, meet with one real sadhu in your life, you can find without Harikata they don't speak anything. Or anything may be related with Hari Bhajan. They are not speaking any material thing. Always they speak. Either Harikata or maybe not direct Harikata, speaking something which is related with Hari Bhajan. They are speaking this way. So, Kapilji Maharaj also speaking, you know, you memory, you memorize. Satang prasangyat mama virujo sangvido bhavanti hitkaruna rasayana katha tajyo svanat asu apubargani shadhya rotir bhakti ronu kramishyati. That is this way. So, everywhere we document, we have document that bhakti is a nectar. Mai bhakti ni bhutana amrita tayam. That Amrita is not helpful. That Amrita is not helpful. We like to get this Amrita. Bhagavad Amrita. This is the condition. So, Pulladma is speaking, Banam Gatahayad Harim Asrayad. It's a question of taking shelter under the lotus feet of Hari. This is Bhagavan also speaking the same thing to Uddham. Bhagavan also speaking same thing to Uddha. That those who are enjoying bhakti, those who are having bhakti, nikta, you cannot compare their position, their condition with anybody. Anybody. Kormi, Gyani, whatever knowledgeable person you cannot compare. Because they are feeling all around Amrita. Bisham Purno Sukhayate, that day I was speaking. They cannot feel any problem inside heart. Bisham Purno Sukhayate. When Bhakti is there, when you can see the whole world in relation to, in relation to Bhagavan, then you cannot find anybody, enemy in your life. Not possible. Then you can find all around. Popat sometimes used to say, when you think that you are doing bhakti, whole world not doing bhakti, that is your false ego. Bhakti Siddhna Satsuri. If you think you are doing bhakti so much and nobody doing bhakti, that means you are false ego. Paramahansa, Guru Vaishnava thinking, whole world doing bhakti. Bhakti. I, I am not doing bhakti. Directly or indirectly? Directly or indirectly they are doing something from Bhagavan. But I am not doing Bhagavan. Has some logic in fine. Not that Prabhupada wanted to say everybody doing bhakti. He wanted to teach us. Actually, indirectly bhakti mean, indirect bhakti mean what do you mean by bhakti? To do seva, to service. Na? To if you think in cool brain, if you in a cool brain, solitary place, think deeply, that whole world, whole world, what they are doing? 
what they are doing directly or indirectly they are doing something for krishna though don't indirectly mean krishna don't want you do but they are doing anyway they are doing the i mean they are doing the seva of maya the maya is krishna's maya they indirectly the seva that's why baba said baba speaking directly or indirectly whole world serving krishna they confess or they don't confess knowingly or unknowingly they are serving because suppose there is suppose there is no thief then no need of policeman policeman need no thief poland one country they have policemen they don't having any pistol or any. only one danda they are like a gentleman because they are people not making any problem very rare very rare sometimes drinking in the world they catch and pay this is other police in it so actually if you think that they are all interrelated all the society has some bondage na he is doing this that's why he is doing this that's why the if you think he cold cool brain they are doing such service for maya they are doing some service of maya so maya mean bhagwan maya so directly or indirectly they all doing giving service to krishna they knowingly or unknowingly they don't confess that is a problem but they serving maya that's why pope was speaking that we sh you should think that we are doing nothing we cannot do any seva of bhagwan we have i am not doing any seva whole world doing something for krishna that is why so you see yesterday i was discussing that bhagwan speaking those were anirakta dhiya anirakta dhiya i told niskanchana niskinchana mai anurakta chetasaha shanta mahanto akhil jiva vasala here bhagwan sri krishna wanted to say those who are really niskinchan and those who are having strong attachment unto my lotus feet those who are shanta having no having no smell of kama no desire krishna bhakta niskam otoy shanto shanto mean externally you can find some man is very polite and shanta shanto mean tranquil but if you look inside your heart he is not tranquil sometime we can discover we can see in our society some man is very tranquil sitting here not speaking anything not fighting it but in true sense if you look inside your heart he is not tranquil externally body is tranquil but mind is restless mind is restless so only and only those who are pure vaishnavas they are actually shanta otherwise nobody you cannot say that he is shanta he is shanta nobody is shanta have some problem in sat some restless condition and bhagwan wanted to say indirectly bhagwan wanted to say they are qualified to to act as acharya mahanta mahanta mean what do you mean by mahanta mahanta mean acharya those who can show light to others those who can so light to others by the help of his own conduct vishnu matrix attack etiquette character behave everything devotional mood so bhagwan wanted to say that those who are great mahantas naturally those who are great mahantas naturally they are busy to deliver bonded so if if some acharya having some enmity particular 
jealousy, pratishtha mood, maybe externally is giving whole honor. But Prabhupada can arrest them. Prabhupada so x-ray eyes. Prabhupada has some. I know you cannot believe me. I know you cannot believe me. But someday you can believe. They are having so x-ray eyes. If they look at anybody, one or two activities, they can realize his position. Those who are following Bhakti Siddhanta, all the way, whole life, they are developing such IQ, they are looking uh, to somebody in the stage. So many people coming. If they can look around, like Bhavan Goswami, Bhavan coming in the Sava, looking around, then see it. They have so X-ray eyes. What I mean to say, try to realize, what I mean to say, what is the actual meaning, what I mean to say? That is that, Pope are told, we are actually not free. We are under the control of our Guru. You believe or not? Those who are really devotee, they are under the control of Guru Varga. They are not free. Any of their activities, speech, looking, speaking, not free. They are under the control of Guru Varga. They are always under the control of Guru Varga. And though all Guru Varga, all Guru Varga, even Sarup Gosai, uh, you know, Raghunath Das Gosai, or Sanatan they are also under the control of Sarup Gosai. It is the arrangement set by Mahaprabhu. They are also under the control. Sarup Gosai means Lorita Sukhi. Mahaprabhu wanted to show us that he is the overall in charge of all Gauri society, Sarup Gosai. Mahaprabhu not giving you power to transgress him. All his Siddhanta, all his Vichar, all his mood, all should be under his control. So, if I am speaking Harikatha, suppose I am write, writing something, all should be approved by Sarup Gosai. It is the arrangement set by Mahaprabhu. Even somebody coming with some writing, ah, I like to read it in from the Mahaprabhu. Uh, I write one, you know, verse, right? Not allowed. Mahaprabhu set the rule that first of all, Sarup Gosai must read. Sarup Gosai must go through the writing. If Sarup Gosai feeling it is okay, no Siddhanta Virod, no Siddhanta Virod, no Rasa Bhas, I mean intersection of Rasa. Like if somebody is speaking, Yasodama was in Rasa Leela. Are you idiot? It's not possible. Yasodama was in Rasa, in intersection of Rasa. Yasodama was in Rasa. How possible? This is absurd. Those who are idiot speaking this. So it was the it was the restriction set by Mahaprabhu. Anybody coming with some writing or you know verse, anything, he has to show Sarup Gosai. If Sarup Gosai approve, then Sarup Gosai allow. Otherwise not. That's why our Guru Varga Bhakti Chakur Prabhupada is speaking. Any of our writing, speech. Any activities, whatever we do, all should be certified by Sarup Gosai, otherwise not. You may shout, you may start agitation, that's up to you. This is the Siddhanta Vichar Mahaprabhu told. All your writing, if somebody come to fight, unnecessary, I say you come and speak the Siddhanta, I open all Shastra, you see, you see, what is written? I am not going to criticize anybody. But what is written? What our Guru Bhagavad what you are told. So surely it is not approved by Sarup Gosai, so it is not authentic. So you can start agitation. That's up to you. You have no right to put pressure on me. Because my Guru Padma already told, 
you can speak about Srila Prabhupada, it is complete. You need not speak anything. Guru Padma repeatedly told, if you are going to speak Prabhupada all the time, Bhakti it is complete. You need not speak anything. You need not all complete. Here you can find all Siddhanta approved. So authentic or not authentic, it depends upon this factor. Sarup Gosai approved, it is approved by Sarup Gosai or not. Very vital point. But we are going to overlook this point. We have some biasness. We have some biasness. Hundred percent. All, everybody has some biasness. They are not free. They are none of them standing on a neutral platform to charge. They are really so. So, Bhagavan speaking, they can act as Mahanta because the symptom of Mahanta, you know, the absolute picture of a, the absolute picture of a Mahanta, absolute picture. You can memorize it and every fraction of second you can think. All the qualities you are hearing of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Guru Vargal, Siddhanta, you can think all the time. Then you can realize. It is the absolute picture of, of one Mahanta. What is that? Kipa Sindhu Susan Puruno Sarva Sattu Pakarakaha Nispriho Sarvatoho Siddho Sarva Vidha Visharadaha Sarva Sangsa Sangsheta Analosha Guru Raita. So you see, you never, you never in your life, want, you never in your life wanted to think all those things. That's why you think some strange, what is this, what is speaking? Never you hear. Kipa Sindhu. If I go on explaining, someday Abhir Bhakti Prabhupada coming, I can discuss. So first of all, Kipa Sindhu. Ocean of mercy. Shushankpur, he himself is complete because no demand. No demand. They are purposely staying here. They don't like to stay. They don't like to identify themselves as a gentleman. They like to go to Vrindavan to lead their what? Rustic life. Yes, no chapel in the head, body is naked, or one cup in is there, and always running, watching. This is the case of our Paravangsas. In my life, practically I've seen, practically my luck was, I don't know how, what was my luck? So I came in contact with such Paravangsa devotees. Not only Guru Maharaj, all others. They are leaving their boy. Practical. Now I realize one Maharaj was there. Really is Paramahansa. He never find fault in anybody. He is a disciple of Srila Prabhupada, Shattagumindu Maharaj. One day morning time, Aruti is over, just Aruti is over. Just Aruti, a darkness there. He running come Jogopit and coming to my Guru Maharaj. I say, Sattva love me very much. He going to Guru Maharaj's room and Guru Maharaj speaking, Oh my God, brother, why are you are coming so morning time? Maharaj, today Radharani coming and chide me. Radharani coming and speaking, Hat, yo, and take sannyas from Puri Gosai Maharaj, go. You are not taking sannyas. He is coming in the morning time. Guru Maharaj laughing. Really so? I had, I wanted to know his personal feeling. But he was like child. I used to sit with him and message Maharaj. He used to love me very much. Very many times he used to get the dancing of Gauranga Mahaprabhu in Jokfit. Night time he is doing Harina and hearing chum. Chum, chum, this, no poor. But you don't speak to anybody. Every, all demons are sleeping and he is watching the Leela of Gauranga. 
That is Paramahansa. Guru Maharaj laughing. Yes, I can give sannyas to you surely. After taking in name was Satyagovinda Maharaj. Sometime he used to stay in our temple. Externally you can find he is a mad. Not normal. Externally you can think he is a mad. Crazy. Not mad. Not at all mad. I know. Sometime he used to come to my library. And Maharaj, you come to see you. Ha? To see me? I am laughing. Because Paramahansa, he can speak anything. I am not going to, you know. So this way, finally he becomes sick. All skin disease, this, that. Then I call one doctor, important doctor. He wants to see all inside, everything. He check up, give medicine. I was bound to take him in Calcutta. Finally, I was bound to take him to Puri. He wanted to go to Puri. Because it's an extreme place for Gauriya devotees. Rasatattva, Vipralamma Rasa, Bhaktivinoda is the topmost place. Because Gauranga, Gwingdila. I go and arrange one room in their temple, Chaitanya Mahat. There is one branch of Chaitanya Mahat. And I used to go very often to check up his health, everything. To check up. He is inside room. Looking. Where he is looking, I don't know. In Ifar. Not looking at anything. Shunna Dishti. Vacant eyes. When I say, say, say. Who? I talk. This way, he was such a great Paramahansa after the living body. No pain, nothing, he lived body. This way, many, many, so many, by Guru Maharaj was Paramahansa in sannyas base, totally Paramahansa, like a child. So, Kipa Sindhu Susang Puruno. Sarva Sattva Pukharga. All the, all the living beings in the world, they like to do something for them. That is the nature of a pure devotee. They don't think his enemy is from this part, this part, this part. No. They like to embrace them. Come to me. They never speak. Only, Papa speaking, to establish Siddhanta, sometimes Guru Vaishnava become very hard. Prabhupada speaking. To establish right Siddhanta, sometimes be they become very hard. They are bound to speak something that doesn't mean they are going to criticize anybody. Out of their causeless mercy, they are showing this kind of attitude. Prabhupada speaking. They are not like ordinary man. That is ordinary man going to criticize him. No. Papa speaking, to establish Vishuddha Siddhanta, sometimes they are going to become very hard. Very hard. People think they have no mercy. Not that. They are bound to speak something. Hey, don't go there. Don't get you, you can lose your bhakti. Speaking. That doesn't mean they are criticizing. Papa speaking, it is their costless mercy. They love you so much, they cannot tolerate that you can. They cannot tolerate that you can fall down. That's why they like to arrest you. You misunderstand them. That is your privilege. You misunderstand them. Whatever you think. So, Kipa Sindhu Susang Purno Sarbo Sattu Pukarakaha Nispriho. Nispriho be no desire inside. Kipasana Susang Purma Sarva Sattva Pukharka Nispriyo Sarvatoha Siddha They are Siddha Sarvatoha Externally you can find they are like human beings But they are Siddha That day I told you, na? Even in this body They can pass away to Vrindavan Do bhajan there Again can come back It is the evidence from Bhagavatam it is evidence from Bhagavatam. Uddhavji Maharaj passed away. After a long time, 
Viduji Maharaj ki, again come back from Golok and tears rolling down his cheeks and going to give answer. With smiling mood giving answer. And practically I told Srinivasa, Jajjo, Nautumura, all the Raghunath, who not? Who not? All pure devotees they have been. You should have that kind of strong faith. Otherwise you cannot get, get energy to do Hari Bhajan. Our Guru Varga is our inspiration. Our Guru Varga, Guru Varga is our inspiration. Living example. So I feel inspiration to do. If there is no ideal example in my life, I cannot get. I can feel weak. I should have bonded soul. They should have one idealism in front of them by looking that Maharaj, that great devotees, Acharyas, they can feel inspiration. Well, something must be there. Something must be there, concrete, for which I am giving energy today. But if you feel, oh, nothing there after living, what I can get? Nothing. It is more practical to live whatever available here. You can enjoy. It is not good. If you accept one fallen soul or half fallen soul in your life, as an idealism, then you cannot get power. Because our bhajan, top to bottom, right from the beginning, because our bhajan, top to bottom, depend upon Guru Kipa. Right from the beginning and end. All depend upon Guru Kipa. Guru Kipa hi kevalam. All power depend upon Guru Kipa. Gurudev can give enormous power to you. Provided you are in line with Guru Varga, Sampradaya. What is your mood? Though so that's why Nispriya Sarvato Siddho Sarva Vidya Visharada. Are Gaur Kishore Babaji Mahal not having knowledge in English, no Sanskrit, no mathematics. You are idiot number one. You should not speak this way. You should not speak this way. Because they know Krishna. That's when all knowledge is there. Jasmin gatte sarvam idam vigyatum bhavati. Jasmin, jasmin prapte sarvam idam praptum bhavati. After getting the lotus feet of Krishna, you cannot say that that Maharaj is not having any knowledge in English and Sanskrit. You have no right to speak. If you speak, you are police number one. All knowledge there. Maybe not expressed, like I told you, one day Jagannath Das Babaji was speaking to his, you know, servant, I mean, Seva, Bihari. His Bihari. Bihari, you read Bhagavatam. Baba, you know I am illiterate. Hey, read Bhagavatam. You know I am illiterate. How I can read Bhagavatam? I know. You read Bhagavatam. After watching, opening and reading. You cannot believe. You go through the life history of Jagannath Das. You can go. Guru Vaishnava, that's why you always speaking, Pangung Lang Hai Tekirim, but you don't believe. You sing, I know, every day you're speaking. Jat ki pa tamang bande, parmananda man. You're speaking, but you don't believe. The one layman can cross over Himalayan hill, a blind can do anything, Pangung Lang Hai Tekirim. We are reciting. We don't believe. We don't. I told you now about that. You know, uh, Surdasji yesterday. And then, how possible? Earthquake, torrential rain. Oh, going, every day going. Who is guiding? With nobody's help. On his stick, talk, 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 going, going. So we should believe. Faith, strong faith. You know. So, all Vidya, there, not that physics, chemistry, Gorkishar Bhajima, no knowledge about physics. Uh, when is going to know Krishna, then know everything. Krishna means Krishna is the source of all knowledge. Krishna is the source of all knowledge. No? If I know Krishna, then all knowledge is there. Krishna is the source of all knowledge. So, all knowledge is there. You can Believe it or not. I told you one day, long ago, maybe eight months before. One day, our 
Bhimala Pasha Saraswati going to meet with. I told you. Babaji Maharaj entered into latrine, public latrine, to do Harina, because all people disturbing him. Hey, my son is sick, you bless me, you this way. When Bhimala Pasha going, he is knocking the door. Open, Babaji Maharaj, come. Not opening. I am your I am your servant, Bhimala Pasad coming. Immediately open the door. You coming, my Prabhu? Yes, I come. Then sitting in one place. After discussing something, speaking, can you recite my Prabhu? One Bhagavad slok? I like to hear from you. Yes. Then Prabhupada speak one slok. After that, I like to uh, hear the explanation of this slok. Explanation of after that, what, what happens? Babaji was speaking, very nice explanation. Aha! Acha, my Prabhu, if this explanation can be uh, this way, Babaji was going to explain. Prabhu was speaking, I gone mad. People speaking is illiterate. How this kind of meaning is possible for Babaji Maharaj to speak? Prabhu was speaking, I cannot even believe. He is speaking. I thought, then I could realize when Krishna is sitting inside the heart of a pure devotee, then the meaning automatically can come. There cannot be any shortage of any meaning. Pure devotee is speaking Harikatha like a flood coming. It's natural because they are not memorizing, they are speaking automatically. One day, our Prabhupada speaking Harikatha by the invitation of some devotees from that side of river. Babaji was going, Navadhi. Most of the people saw here, but some people like to hear Prabhupada. Prabhupada, okay, I can go. I don't need money, no position, nothing. Okay, I can go for the benefit of public. He is going to win almost winter season. Babaji going to sit in Basasan and speaking Harikatha. And in course of speaking, Harikatha is speaking about Gaur Kishad Bhavaj Maharaj. Gaur Kishad Bhavaj Prabhupada speaking, in the life of my Paramahansa Guru Pat Padma, the total Bhairagya of Srila Raghunath Goswami Pat was, is visible. Total renunciation of Bhairagya, all. Is available inside my Guru Path Padma Paramahansa Guru Path. Srila Gorki is speaking. Suddenly, Prabhupada watching, Gorki Srila was speaking in the audience to hear Harikatha with blanket. With blanket, this and hearing Harikatha. Immediately after hearing something about his own appreciation, Babaji Maharaj getting up and going away. He do not like to hear any. He don't like to get any love, puja, patishtha. So now you understand the mood of a Paramahansa. So now you feel. Don't feel, then you are foolish. Try to feel. That Gaurakishwar Babaji Maharaj think that he is my disciple. Any Acharya in this society can do. They cannot do. Try to realize. It's not the question of any you know, particular. Try to realize. This is only possible for Paramahansa. If you like to test one person, you can do whatever knowledge you have, power you have, you can test one person. You try to, you know, get confirmation. This is the mood of Paramahansa. They never think my disciple. They can take dust particle from the lotus feet of all you. They never think. That's why they are Paramahansa. So, Gaur Kishir Babaji Maharaj never think that Bhimala Pasha Saraswati Prabhupada is my disciple. Many times it is Guru. And our Prabhupada also told, they are my Guru Varga. Not my disciple. Guru Varga. This is the vichar of those Paramahans. So, finally, you see, you understand why Krishna, why Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, they are Mahanta. All the qualities speaking, almost same with all the qualities I do. Kripa Sindhu, Susangpur, all understood here. All here. If you read one, one, almost all, almost everything covered. 
Maybe need explanation. Kipa Sindhu, Sushant Purno, he himself feeling complete, no dissatisfaction. Kipa Sindhu, Sushant Purno, Sharbo Sattva Pukar, he like to do benefit for all Shivas. Even vast beasts and birds. Kipa Sindhu, Sushant Purno, Sharbo Sattva Pukar, Nispriho, no desire. Sarvata Siddha, all square, they are Siddha. Sarvata Sarva Vidya Visharada. They have all knowledge, Vidya. Sarva Vidya Visharada. And Sarva Sangsha Sangscheta. Jibu Vasai Bad in Sandarbha, writing some explanation. I have no time to discuss today. Jiva Sainz was, was speaking, if some guru cannot cut the doubts of one disciple, then disciple can express some doubt. Oh my goodness, cannot speak answer. There will be great danger. I can explain tomorrow. Time. So, Sarva Sangsha Sangsheta. Analasamin. They are doing Seva 24 hours. Analasamin. Tiredless. If you feel tired, then you need to retire. <laughs> if you feel tired, then you can feel necessary to take eh? three tire, four tire, two tire, AC, coach. <laughs> tire. No tiredness there. No, no tiredness there. So you can buy us energy to do seva. No tiredness. This is the symptom of our pure devotees. So, all same, Sarva Sangsa Sin Sangsita, Anarasa means same thing what Prabhupada used to say very often. All the 24 hours, all the 24 hours, one pure devotee serving. Maybe you cannot see. Mentally doing seva. Physically, you can see something they are doing. That's why, that's why, all the 24 hours they are busy with seva. It is not visible with the material eyes. Follow. They are all activities, everything, speech, thinking, eating, everything, all related to Krishna seva. Bhongshidas Babaji Maharaj going to market, no money. When the man going to throw some brinjal, some insect there, throw. Baba, you are going to collect everything and come back to Bhajan Kuti. Meaning which sabji, there's a, I mean the shop man going to throw, Baba, you are going to collect and come and going to wash in Ganga water. After that, singing song and going to make amanya, you know, amanya means peace, cutting with peace. Maharaj, when you can cook, you are singing and doing karma. Nitya Lila. Almost three over four over. After that, cooking, offering it to Bhagavan, taking. Mane, it seems the Babaji Maharaj in, in a transcendental bliss, full ocean. Like Babaji Maharaj, our Paramahansa, Bhangshi, our Gorkisar Bhaj. Same way, going to collect some banjil, everything, and washing in Gogo, Gonga water, and cutting into pieces, and putting in the plate. Not cooking, putting in place and offering to go Nithai. No cooking. After that, taking prasadam, you, go, you can go mad by watching. Taking one one brinjal and taking so taste. So you can think they are crazy. <laughs> Don't go to them. Some crude rice. Sometimes Baba Yuma used to wash in Ganga, crude rice, nothing, no cooking, nothing, with salt there and offering to go Nitai and chal, crude chal, taking and laughing, oh, enjoyment. So enjoyment is not outside with matters. I know you are searching enjoyment outside, your sense organ is always busy to find some enjoyment outside. But enjoyment is not outside. If you search enjoyment outside, you can get cheated. Enjoyment is there itself inside you. 
you will have to discover by hearing Harikatha all the time. <coughs> enjoyment like blind, high enjoyment. Money, position, everything, like blind. Are foolish enjoyment not there. Let them run. Guru Pātvatma told, idiot, let them run. What is concern to you? You try to get such a thing, which one thief cannot take, one dockwit cannot take, try to collect. That thing. Let them do what they want. Let them do. Externally, it seems they are going to do some benefit for others. But according to the analytical calculation of Sarup Gosai, we can discover they are, they are not doing, they are undoing. Excuse me. Doing and undoing. Guru Bhargo done, they are undoing. But foolish people, they don't understand. This much up to this limit, they have their knowledge up to this, material knowledge. Okay, it's okay. Maybe it is the arrangement of Mahamaya. <coughs> so, Bhagavan going to indirectly, Bhagavan indirectly wanted to give in, indication to her that what, what all qualities I am speaking to you, it is the symptom of one Acharya. Be careful. Whenever you are going to take shelter of somebody, understand. Material condition you cannot understand. That's why in Hari Bhakti Vilas, one year testing is prescribed. One year Bhakti Muntagur writing, I can show you in Upadesham the commentary. Bhakti Muntagur expressing concern. Though there is a, though, though there is a topics of testing between Guru and Sisha, it is already there in Hari Bhakti Vilas written by Sanatana Bhasai, but in practical field, nobody is going to apply. Bhakti Muntagur speaking. You open now, I can show you. You open right now, I can show you. Bhakti Muntagur speaking. Expressing concern. That's why so much contamination in devotional field. No, not even ABCD idea. Never mind. In front of Bhagavatam speaking, ABCD idea. Don't know. How to maintain purity, how to uchista, what is a Guru Darshan? No idea. Blind. Ah, they are enjoying. Only they are enjoying. Material enjoyment. This way bhakti cannot be. This way bhakti is not possible. Has some procedure. Has some procedure given by Krishna, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Has some procedure, not when you are doing something. Even Sankirtan, if you are going with Midanga, everything. Bhakti Muttak writing. People can think me enemy if I pass this remark, but I can show them. Bhakti Muttak writing. All people, they are going in the road to do Nagar Sangha, Hare Krishna, they are going. But you will have to understand any Siddha Mahatma is there in Sankirtan Padyon. Bhakti Muttak is asking. Any one, any one such devotee there who is realized soul, otherwise that Sankirtan is material Sankirtan. They are material. What they are singing, Kirtan, the material. Those who are hearing, they are material. To what to speak about development, they can fall down. Try to understand. Bhakti Mandala was speaking, at least one pure devotee, realized soul, great devotee must be there. So by his power, the Sankirtan, whole Sankirtan party can be regulated. Like I can give example, Srila Bhakti Valatita Gosim. All bonded soul. Bhakti Mandala. My Guru Maharaj used to say, you, I am old age Baba. You can follow Bhakti Valatya. Go to it is my practical experience. He used to love me. I'm a big monkey. I'm a big monkey. That's why he used to love me. I don't know why. So I have direct feeling. When he's doing kirtan in Navadip, if you cross the ghat, there all devotees crossing river. In the meantime, Maharaj for half an hour, one hour doing Sankirtan, dancing. Oh, unique. Some feeling coming. Somebody is shaking from inside. Really kirtan. Direct feeling. Going to Paramatala. In front of Parama doing kirtan. So long as Srila Bhakti Bhikkhan Bharati Maharaj was there, 
used to go to join the function of Prabhupada Abhirbhav Titi. Till then I used to go. When he gone, one year I went there, I find nothing, all material. He used to sit here, he used to give me order, I used to speak Harikata in front of so many people. I used to do Abhishek of Prabhupada, because all established by my Guru Maharaj inside temple. First of all, I enter temple, do Abhishek of Gauranga, Guru Gauranga and Prabhupada. After that time, all clothes. After that, I sit in Harikatha. Bharati Maharaj coming, sitting, with so energy. If he, Bharati Maharaj, not going to speak Harikatha, still okay. If Bharati Maharaj is not going to speak or you, still it is okay. By his physical presence, I feel very happy. I don't know why. Next year, when I went, when Bharati Maharaj is gone, I feel nothing left. Nothing left. I am not coming to take. I am not coming to take nothing. I don't need anything. So I stop. So direct feeling. One sadhu Realized soul, if is there, so enjoyment. So long I was with Srila Bharti Maharaj, Bharti Gusti Maharaj, Titta Maharaj. I was feeling myself like a child. So nice, no problem. Guru Maharaj was aged so much, cannot go outside. I used to go. go. So one day Guru Maharaj speaking to me. It was the Abhir Bhaktiti of Srila Bhakti Vita Madhu Gusti Maharaj. 10 o'clock over, I am doing some seva inside the room of Guru Mahal. Hey, go, go to here, Harikatha, there. Today is the Abhirbhav Titi of Param Pujiva, Sila Bhakti Vita Mahal. He is speaking Param Pujiva. He is younger God brother, now senior. He is senior, much more senior. Param Pujiva, I can show you writing. All articles there, I can show you writing. Param Pujiva, Bhakti Vita Madhu Gusti Mahal. You go, I am Maharaj. No, immediately you go. Immediately you go. You hear Harikatha there. And I heard that the life, Jivan Charit, is life, is you know, published. You can bring from me. You take me money from me. I am laughing. So, I remember and I compare myself with Guru Maharaj. What is my condition? You can take money, as if nobody can give any book to Guru Maharaj. You can take money, you can buy this book. book. I can read the life history as well Bhakti. Now you realize, try to understand, there should not be any particular. It is my request unto your lotus feet, everybody. Don't try to involve me into any particular. I am a neutral personality. I like to give you this feeling, what is called sadhu. What is bhakti? That is my target. My target is not to criticize anybody, not to speak anything, nothing. It is my ultimate target. Now we understand that what Krishna wanted to say. They are in neutral platform and Mahanta, they want to seek benefit for everybody. They have no enmity. Kamai Ranalabdhyo. No karma going to touch their heart. Kamai, Kamair Analabdha Dhyo Jishantite Jannaira Peksham Naviduhu Sukham Mama. They are in the ocean of, in the ocean, bliss, blissful ocean. Ananda. So why they can care the small thing you are going to honor me, giving pranami, not giving pranami? Very chief thing. It's up to you. Bhagavan arranged everything for them. So anyway, I am bound to stop here. Excuse me. <coughs> because time cannot permit us to run, do anni, can go there. Tat sadhu mannehi asura bharja dehinam Sada samad bhigna dhyam asad gurhat Hitvatto patam gihamanda kupam Banamgata hayad harima srahid vanchakal patarusi ki paas patitanang pavane po vishna bhyona. I am not never thinking about the number of people here. 
I am thinking about quality. I am thinking about quality, not number. 